You know the when you go to Pahi, is it right the pronunciation? Pahi, Pahi. Okay. Okay. Wunderbar. In German. Okay. You know how many uh, people visit Apple Tower per year? You don't know. You don't care, right? <laughs> I was I was told that uh, two million, maybe more. Now, how much money we have to pay to see the Apple Tower? Huh? Yeah, we have to pay. There, there is an entrance fee. And did you? How much did you pay? Twenty dollars. Ten euros. So that corresponds about twenty dollars, right? So twenty dollars multiplied by say two million to two million. How much is going to be? It's a simple calculation. Forty. Forty million dollars, right? Right. And at the at the, at the, the, the when when that tower was constructed over there, the uh, during the uh, actually that what tower was constructed over there in very early 1960s, right? Nineteen zero one. When when uh, French uh, invited the, the <laughs> Expo Expo World Exposition, right? 1901. They they promised to remove the after the uh, the uh, exposition, but uh, they found it's very costly costly to remove the exposition, so they just. Uh, Keep over there, and very uh, Parisian. Is it right pronunciation? Parisian. <laughs> <laughs> really hate to see the uh, Apple Tower over there, right? But now that tower gains a lot of money. Oh. It's very interesting, right? And also, Apple constructed the uh, bridge that that crossed the uh, the river. And then uh, he claimed that um, the train can pass the bridge that was uh, made by the trust element, and actually nobody wanted to drive that train at the time. And Apple showed the uh, calculation of all that he did, and this is a very safe, and nobody still does not want to drive. <laughs> The he the train, and then finally he, he uh, was lucky to find the driver, and he, of course he paid a lot. And the condition that was asked by the driver was, you have to come with me. So Apple has to ride the train, and the train was driven by the driver, and Apple was the only one passenger at the time. And then what happened? The train, the train successfully passed the, the bridge. So, now everybody believed that we can construct a bridge using the uh, truss element. Okay. Now we will believe that we can reduce the vibration using thin rubber by studying this lecture. Okay? Okay, the, suppose we have a two structure. One has an E1 that has low spectra zeta 1 and the E2 that has low spectra Zeta two, and then this one has a height h two. This one has a height h one, and the length of this structure is L, and this is supported by 
like this, simply supported a bit. And then the total, I mean, EI, the bending rigidity of this combined system normalized by bending rigidity of forced structure is expressed as 1 plus E2 H2 2 plus 3, 1 plus H2, square E2, H2, over 1 plus E2, H2, where E2 is the ratio of elastic modulus between material one, uh, structure one and structure two. H2 is the ratio between two structures height, H2 and H1. Okay? And the loss factor, yeah. This one? No, this is the E2, I, E, I is the uh, elastic constant of the resultant structure. It has two components, E2 and E1. You just normalize this. E, I is rigidity, right? Rigidity means that how the uh, stress we will get when we put some moment on the structure. This is sigma, right? Okay. How do we get this formula? I just got it from the book. <coughs> huh? And I guess how to get this formula is to look at the small element of small element and considering the force balance and the consider strain stress relation between two structures of two structures and so on and we will get this result. What is the best way to get the formula? Ask who knows very well, right? Or get the reference or handbook. And this is the uh, formula we got from the book. We are going to use this to to know how how much vibrations of pressure we will get by putting another element. Okay?